And Christy, um, with this in mind, um, with the Web3 and everything, um, do, you, do you feel that women will be able to um, adopt to this a lot quicker than we would in Web2? I mean, Web2, I mean, gosh, when Instagram came out and Facebook, it's, you see all the mommy bloggers coming on strong and they're like, you know, pretty powerful. And now we're getting into the uh, Web3 and the blockchain. Um, do you see that happening for women? Yeah, I think um, I will say Web2 was an incredible opportunity when you just mentioned mommy bloggers, right? Like the power of blogging and being able to share, you know, a day in a life and all that too was just what an incredible platform to be able to give women. Um, and, you know, the organizations like Blog Her, you know, our friends, Lisa Camelhort Page and um, Lisa Stone, you know, and Jory Dejardin like, launched that. And it was just incredible, right? It was a fantastic platform. And I do think you see a lot of, there's several NFTs right now that are women focused and uh, women led and women focused. And I feel like that's a space that's really uh, just prime for women to dive into and um, participate. And the communities that I've seen are really lovely and welcoming, and it's a great area. I would love to see more women come into blockchain, DeFi, um, you know, on the regular, on the, like a lot of attorneys too, like come in and start talking about what compliance and these impacts of government have. Um, you know, real most you're dealing with tech, right? And so we've always had a problem with finding a lot of places for women to make their mark. It's definitely a boys club. Um, but I do see, and I have seen over the last year or so, um, a lot more women's voices get lifted up inside of the Web3 world. Um, I think especially on the creator side, you're going to see women flourish I do hope that they get deeply entrenched and learn. And that's why I think it's super important. Um, I feel the blockchain of all things, like I probably, NFTs for me is cool because it's very visual and, I'm, and I, I love those kind of artful pieces. But I just feel like of all the tech to learn right now, just start reading about the blockchain, um, understanding what that really means. You know, what is smart contracts? Like what is like, and again, follow Jennifer E. Podcaster here. Follow her, what she's doing with putting her podcasting up. I keep lifting her up because she's just such a dear friend and doing some many amazing things. Um, but I'd love to see people start testing the tools. And I do hope that women um, dive in deeply here and start exploring it. I think there's mass opportunity for them. Well, Jennifer was actually, we actually featured Jennifer, I think she was episode two, um, and she got us all excited about the streaming on the blockchain. Let me bring her up and see if she can come up and say hi real quick. I'd like to speak. So it's about 1030. Again, this space is only going for 60 minutes sharp. Um, there you go. Hi, Jennifer. Hey there, boy. So glad I had to set an alarm for this. And then all of a sudden I looked up and I'm like, ah, jump in, hurry. I didn't want to miss a thing. And I'm super glad you're recording this. But I have, I mean, I'm just sitting here. I'm like that little, that little dog who's nodding his head constantly because I'm sitting here listening to you and Christy and my head's just nodding like crazy. I'm like a bobblehead because the reality is there's real power in gathering around something that is so new that when you talk to folks about it, they look at you like you're speaking Klingon. And it's kind of a little frustrating on that aspect. But an event like Web 3.1, the Leadership Summit and Unconference, is a great place for us to all speak the same language. And it may be that I know a little corner of Web 3 and somebody else knows another little corner and somebody else knows a different corner. But when we get together, all of a sudden our corner grows and we know more. And that's what an, an event or an unconference is all about is that learn, share, grow in that way that we can all amplify. And it's not just the knowledge, it's also the people. There's the people that are moving this forward, but they're moving this forward in their little corner of the world. And until we get together and know who we are, it's a real challenge to kind of feel like there's a larger community doing this at the same time. And because we're all in discovery mode, right? There's so much to learn. We can short, shortcut that considerably by learning and sharing and growing together. And Christy mentioned this, the overwhelm aspect of Web3 and oh boy, howdy, it's overwhelming. <laughs> we can't do it all. But there are some things, you know, we don't know what we don't know. But until we get together to learn what we what we think we know and what we think we should know. And then all of a sudden we're like, oh, I had no idea I needed to know that, too. So there's real value in sharing our research so that we can as a community and as individuals can expand that knowledge. So I just am sitting here just like I said, I'm the bobblehead shaking my head. Love what you're doing. But also with the um, I mean, you really think about it like 
like because I got uh, um, Gino is 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 in the space right here too. He and I are doing um, NFTs movies. You know, we want to do um, a film festival on Twitter Spaces and talk to a filmmaker about you know are they co creating DAOs? Are they doing anything for their project? So um, those are the and then also you know I'm involved in the NFT music. Um, concert so and that's another thing too you know like musicians uh, filmmaker content creator anybody that wants to um, be part of the conversation can do it and that's the exciting part uh, of this and um i'm um, chris will you guys be doing like another i don't know i just had this big you know i think big so i think i like i see this vision of you guys like a few years from now and you'll be having like a bigger event than south by southwest <laughs> because think about this <laughs> um yeah it's funny, Tanya, that you say that, because like Chris and I have had lots of conversations. You know, when we launched Social Media Club, we never meant for it to actually be an organization. It was just kind of like an idea. We wanted to launch it into the community and have everybody go off and do their own thing. And then um, quickly learned that people wanted a little more structure. Right. So then we built an organization and, and 501c3 and went from there. But, you know, I, I honestly I don't know what we're going to do with this. I just know that we're passionate about learning new things, um, passionate about connecting people, um, making sure that, you know, there is an educational path for folks. Um, it's just something that we're just, we're built that way. That's just something that comes naturally to us. And it's exciting as we learn, we want to share what we're learning with other people too. And it's the train the trainers type thing, right? Um, I'm learning every day. Like there's a lot of people around me that I'm just like going, I'm trying to soak it all in. And so, you know, I have, I know there'll be more than one event. Um, the first one again is coming up on the 28th and the first of, uh, in two weeks. I know we plan to do more. Like I said, we're talking about possibly, you know, building a DAO that will help bring together the educators and influencers and advocates um, so we can co-create together, right? Ideally, it's like, I've got a project I'm super interested in and I met say Tanya at this event and I know that you're passionate about NFTs and music and that's something I want to build out like let's do something together and so I for me it's just really fun to be able to foster those connections and whether that keeps coming through you know events like this or other opportunities is yet to be determined um, but I just think that it's really important that we try to at least learn as much as we can about the technology um, the the pros of it and why you feel like you're gonna you know you need this either in your business or to learn it um, personally but also again understanding the downside of it or the um, things to be cautious about right so you don't get the rug pulled out from underneath you and you don't lose your investments I think that's super important so um, yeah maybe we'll be the next uh, South by Southwest but I you know I don't have those grand illusions I feel like for me. I'm happy in, you know, building communities and, um, and doing this and we'll just see what happens going forward.